Hello everyone, Spiron here. I hope you all are doing great as always. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get rid of your monitor's ghosting or like 50 to 70% of it. So first of all, you have to know what causes the ghosting on your monitor. It's caused by your monitor's response time. The higher the number is, the more ghosting you see on your screen. And the black smearing is a common problem in most VA panels. And to try and lessen that, you'd have to increase your monitor's brightness. And you might also increase the gamma. It can be increased by your monitor's settings or by NVIDIA control panel or AMD software if you own an AMD GPU. So try and put the brightness on the highest possible without messing up the quality of your monitor. It's your personal preference after all and also take a look on your gamma. You might want to increase it by a tenth of one. And to get the least number of response time, because that's what's important in this video, you'd have to go to your monitor settings and try and find an option called overdrive or response time depending on your monitor on your monitor's model each one has their own ui and settings so we have to get to that option to push the monitor's response time speed in order to decrease the trailing and ghosting artifacts behind fast moving objects like for my case, I have a Samsung G3 AG320. It suffers like from ghosting. It suffers so much from ghosting. It is a 165 Hz VA monitor. I have it named response time in my settings. You might have it named overdrive or something like in AOC monitors. And I have three options inside of it. I have standard, faster, and fastest. You might have standard, low, medium, and high. I tried them all and I found that the fastest option was the best. It doesn't always have to be the latest one, the latest option in your setting to provide the fastest response time. For some monitors, medium or, fa medium or faster is better. Um, you'd have to either go to ratings.com or UFO test. For ratings.com, you'd have to type and find your monitor's model and see what's the best override or response time setting it is for your monitor. They also provide real time or real total MS for each preset and they also provide overshoot error percentage for each preset. But if you aren't able to find your monitor's model on this site, then you'll have to go to UFO test, as I did and so many do, and open the ghosting test and try testing your presets and find what's best, like what gives you the least ghosting and black smearing. So uh, about overshoot error. Overshoot is about showing artifacts in your screen when you like Mm, when you when you messed up the, the settings in your monitor like when you um, made things higher than they should be so it's noticeable when it's higher than 10% I mean the overshoot error like as long as you're under 10% then you're okay and you really won't notice anything like for my case I have it on 6% with the fastest option and there's also the VRR or variable refresh rate you may find that in your monitor. It might be named like FreeSync or Adaptive uh, Sync. So um, for me, when I turn it on, it messes up my response time. It's like it switches it to the standard uh, response time. Uh, and it even locks the response time option like it makes it gray, thus making me not being able to control it. So I turn it off, but for some users, and their monitors tend to perform best with the adaptive sync, like some ASOS monitors. So you'll try to test your monitor in UFO test for ghosting with it being on and off, I mean the adaptive sync or um, free sync. And that's all you can do to get like the best response time and the least black smearing possible. It's just by 
by brighten up your uh, brighten up your monitor, add in some gamma if you if possible, and do in the respawn time setting that I told you about in your monitor. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down in the comment section below, or you can join my Discord server, and I'm mostly active there. So have a good one.